the MCM should be now released and yeah, let's remove it carefully. Welcome to the CPU Galaxy channel. Well, if you watched already my previous videos on my channel, you should know that I love to collect multi-chip modules as well. Those monsters are fascinating technologies which are completely different to what we know from normal PCs. Some say these parts look like alien technology and well, I can agree on that because it's not so easy to get your hands on parts and technology which is usually coming out of mainframe computers. And where else than at CPU Galaxy you can expect to see unusual stuff. Today I want to share with you here the latest addition to my collection, a nice purple ceramic MCM including the cooling assembly out of a Cray X1 vector processor supercomputer. Yeah, the Cray X1 was a high performance computing platform developed by Cray and first introduced in 2003. It was based on a distributed memory architecture that featured multiple nodes connected through a high speed interconnect. Each node comprised four dual core alpha microprocessors and had access to a local memory bank, as well as the remote memory banks of other nodes. The Cray X1 utilized advanced cooling technologies, which I will explain later on. It was widely used in scientific research, engineering simulations and other high performance computing applications. And its unique design and innovations made it a leading platform for high performance computing in its time. Then let's have a closer look on the MCM now. Underneath the cooling assembly we can see here a huge ceramic substrate with a size of 72 by 72 millimeters. The connection to the board is obviously not made with pins. We can see here 3800 gold pads which get connected with an interposer to the mainboard assembly. The cooling assembly looks also somehow different to other MCMs I dissembled so far. Through the hole here we can see already a bit from the uh, top side of the MCM with a lot of decoupling capacitors and also the silicon dies. What's strange on the first spot is that it seems that no metal part is connecting directly to the dies, which you would expect to see for a proper cooling. But now I think it's time to disassemble that part to get a closer look on the inside to see what is going on there. The MCM is held uh, by this metal frame and these clips in the cooling assembly, so we have to remove just these 8 screws, hopefully, to get these things apart. So the screws are removed now and we can easily take off the metal frame here. The MCM should be now released and yeah, let's remove it carefully. And wow, look at that beauty. Wow, this looks really nice and all the silicon dice seems to be intact. I'm always very excited disassembling something like that. Yeah, it's just technology you usually will not find easily. And to get the hands on something like that, it's just awesome. Yeah, the substrate contains 82 layers of glass ceramic. On the top, we can see eight silicon dies in total, four processing units and four cache chips. Additional to that, we got here 180 decoupling capacitors. Interesting to mention are also the connections from the chips to the ceramic. I have here also an unpopulated ceramic substrate where we can nicely see the very tiny gold pads where the dies are mounted on. In total, these are about 34,000 connections from the surface of the ceramic to the silicon dies. Wow, how amazing is that? I feel very lucky to get my hands on such cool and rare parts of technology. 
I found also an interesting commercial video from Cray where they explain the architecture and the design of the computer. Here the explanation from a Cray engineer about the processor architecture. I will put a link to the description below if you are interested to watch the whole video from this channel. The building block of the SV2 is the multi-stream processor or MSP. It's implemented on an 8-chip MCM, multi-chip module, and it includes four processor chips and four custom streaming cache chips. The four processor chips each provide a scalar processor and two vector pipes, and then the four processors share a high bandwidth streaming vector cache. And there are special synchronization primitives and wires between the four processors which allow them to be tightly coordinated and act either as four independent streams of computation or as one large stream of computation that has eight vector pipes of performance. And then it has ports leading off to the memory subsystem on the board. If you take a look at a board then it contains four multi-stream processors with a crossbar to a flat shared memory. The memory is controlled by 16 memory control chips. Each one of these has eight direct RAM bus ports to a very high bandwidth memory subsystem. So you have a system building block that has four of our multi-stream processors and has flat, low latency shared access to the local node memory. Wow, very sophisticated architecture. And to answer upfront your questions, no, it cannot run Crisis or Doom. The way how these kind of computers are working is so completely different that it is hard to compare it with standard home PCs. But now let's have a closer look at the cooling. The Cray X1 MCM processor used a unique cooling technology known as the spray cap to manage the heat generated by its high performance processors. The spray cap technology involved spraying a fine mist of dielectric fluid directly onto the surface of the processor module. This mist evaporated almost instantly, carrying away the heat generated by the processors and cooling the modules. The dielectric fluid used in the spray cap system was a fluorocarbon based liquid that was chosen for its high heat capacity and low viscosity. The fluid was contained in a reservoir and pumped through a network of channels that delivered the fluid to the spray nozzles. We can see here four spray nozzles for each processor and one spray nozzle for each cache chip. The TDP of one cache chip is about 40 watts and for each processor the cooling must be capable to absorb 100 watts. That means the total generated heat is about 560 watts, which is a really serious amount of energy you need to get rid of. The spray cap system was designed to be very efficient, allowing the Cray X1 MCM processor to operate at high speeds without overheating. The system was also designed to be reliable with redundant pumps and nozzles to ensure that cooling was maintained even in the event of a component failure. The spray cap system was one of the key innovations that made the Cray X1 MCM processor a leading platform for high performance computing in its time. It's efficient and reliable. The cooling technology helped to ensure that the processors could operate at peak performance even under the most demanding workload. And this technology is now 20 years old. Wow, how cool is that? I also want to give here credit to the founder of Cray Research, Seymour Cray. He was an American electrical engineer and computer architect who is widely regarded as the father of supercomputing. He was born in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin on the 28th of September 1925 and unfortunately he passed away in 1996. And guess from where the cellar is located I got this module from. Right, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. How cool is that? Seymour Cray was a pioneer in high-tech performance computing and designed several of the world's fastest computers, including the Cray 1 and Cray 2, which were used for scientific and military applications. He founded the company Cray Research, which became a leading producer of supercomputers in the 70s and 1980s. Cray received numerous awards and honors for his contributions to the field of computing and is remembered as a visionary and an inspiration to many computer scientists and engineers.
One of the best lectures I have ever seen is from him and I can definitely recommend to watch that if you are interested on the beginning of parallel supercomputers. I will put the link in the video description below. At the end, I am just happy to be able to give this processor a place which it deserves, in my vitrine where the other supercomputing bodies are placed and I can enjoy it anytime when looking at it. I hope you liked the video, it was fascinating for me to dig a bit into this special technology and this amazing cooling technology as well. Thank you very much for watching, take care and see you next time. Your Peter.